hello welcome back to my channel for this week we'll be talking about eye exercises i'm madeze your online eye doctor so eye exercises just like you hear that natural exercise is good body exercise is good for the whole body function the whole the way the body works so is eye exercises eye exercises is good for the eye it's just like exercise good but there is no scientific backup that it helps improve your vision or it makes your vision clearer or better than it was or what it has been. You still have to get prescription and treatments when need be for the eyes. But just like every other exercise, eye exercises are good for the eye. So now we'll go to the first one. First of all, warm up. Before you exercise, you have to warm up to prepare the body for the exercise that is coming up so you don't stress out the muscles or take it by surprise so now how you warm up make sure your hands are neat wash your hands first of all after washing you dry with lint free cotton or just dry leave it to a dry if you have a fan or something just dry it make sure it's very neat i've washed mine then you start by closing your eyes then Circling. Circle your eyes, your eyeballs softly, not hard. Softly. You just the circular movement, like you're rolling your hands over your eyelids, you're rolling it and then like massage, like a soft massage. So this is something you can do anywhere, anytime. It helps relieve stress. Like when you feel stressed, it also helps. So it's like a warm-up exercise for the eye. We've gone to the exercise proper. The first one you have to do, we'll talk about is far and near focus. So you can just bring something, <clears throat> let's say your thumb or your index finger, just find something, focus on it at 15, let's say 15 inches or 10 inches, there about 15 to 10 inches. Focus it before you, then look use your eyes to fixate look at it focus on it then when you fixate let's say three seconds you look to another another imaginary something you're imagining that there is a, a target a target 20 feet or 15 feet let's just use 15 feet so you look at that target so you just focus then come back focus on your on your index finger that you're using at 10 inches to focus then if you focus you do it back and front back and front back and front for like five times you can repeat it for five times it can help you relax the muscles and everything we talk about pencil push-ups so you get the pencil before you a pencil and pencil just one pencil keep it 10 feet 10 inches from your face then focus on the tip of the pencil when you focus on the tip then take it away from you take it as far stretch out your hands so that your hands will be straight then bring it back continue bringing it to your eyes until it's two for some it's never be two so bring it as close as you can then take it back to the former position the first position then take it far again stretching your arms bring it close again to your face you repeat this exercise for five times it helps for those with crossed eyes those with double vision there's another one we call zoom zoom so you bring an object 10 inches from your face or a, an index finger whatever just bring it to your face 10 to 15 inches away from your face then focus on the tip or on the object focus on it then bring it close to your face you're zooming it in so there's another we call 20 20 20 rule this is very very invaluable especially to those that works with screen you know that most of our works today we have to use our laptop our desktop screen computer screens then we use our phones a lot so this 20 20 20 rule says that you look at your screen for 20 minutes straight after 20 minutes you look away from your screen to an object 20 feet apart 
find an object, maybe the wall of your office or whatever, 20 feet apart from you, then focus on that place, 20 feet apart. Anything, you can just draw and imagine. You can just look at the wall. You can just draw an imaginary object with your head and just stare at it. Stare at it for 20 seconds. So the rule is you look at your screen for 20 minutes, look away and look at a point 20 feet apart from you, then look at that point for 20 seconds. Then when you're done, you can look back at your screen. Then after 20 minutes again, you try it. Uh, we might forget, but whenever you remember, just remember to look away from your screen. 20 feet apart, 20 seconds, look back to your screen. I hope this helps. Then we have another one, um, like eight, letter eight with your eyes. Letter eight and, let, and infinity, the infinity symbol with your eyes. So you do it by rolling your eyeballs, drawing the imaginary eight at the point away from you on the floor on the wall whatever wherever you feel like you're okay with so i'll just de demonstrate it with my eyes so what you do is you look like you're drawing letter eight you roll your eyeballs without moving your eyes i'm doing the infinity part infinity then you draw the normal letter eight <laughs> Roll your eyes like that. Roll your eyes without moving your head. You just roll your eyes like you're doing the letter eight or the infinity. So it helps you. It helps the muscles, the eye muscles. It helps strengthen them. Then there is another one. You look left, look right, look up, look down. You're looking at all the directions of gaze without moving your head. You look left, look right, look up. Look down. You can even look clockwise, anti-clockwise, down, like so. You just it helps your you to know also if there is a problem with any of your extracular muscles, any muscles around your eyes. If there is any problem with it, when you're looking turning towards that direction of gaze, it helps. It pains you like it gives you an ache that lets you know that everything is not okay with that place. Everything is not okay, and it helps you report to the hospital fast so that adequate measures will be taken immediately to help you get your best vision. And then, you should learn to blink as much as you can. Do not stare at your screen or your TV or your computer screen. Do not stare endlessly without blinking. Learn to blink frequently as much as you can. It helps to spread tears over your eyes and avoid dryness. It helps your eyes not to dry out, not to feel dry out. Always blink your eyes as much as you can. When you're done with this exercise, make sure you complete them. Then you wash your hands again if you've soiled your hands or anything. You can just wash your hand or if your hand is okay, just rub your palm like so. Rub it and rub it and rub it and rub it. When you feel it's warm, place it over your eyeballs. Just place it. Relax. When you rub your palm, you notice it's warm. That time is warm. Just place it over your eyeballs. If you place it like close your eyes and place it over there like this. So when it's gets cold when your palm gets cool like it's no longer that warm you remove it repeat the exercise rub repeat the exercise rub like so until like five times six times as much as you like it helps relax the, the eye i hope you got value from these videos in my next video i'll be sharing tips on how to take care of your eyes the diet and the vitamins you need to get the best out of your vision and enjoy your maximum vision. Stay tuned to my, my channel. Turn on your, notifica your notification bell if you subscribe. Or if you've not subscribed, please subscribe. And also turn on your notification bell so you don't miss out on my weekly videos every Wednesdays by 8 p.m. prompts. Thank you for staying tuned. Bye.